Hello, I'm Portadikian Andrei Psarev. This is our first unit of the 10 uh, lectures of the history of the Russian Orthodox Church. And in this lecture, we'll be talking about the foundation of the Russian Church. It's important to understand that uh, the all uh, record, historical record about history of Russia starts in the 9th century. There is uh, some uh, mention about uh, the cross baptism of Russian people uh, in uh, Byzantine. Uh, sources that was done by Fortius because Fortius, Patriarch Fortius and Fortius, he baptized some uh, Russians and the etymo etymologically the word Russians come from Rus, which is uh, uh, also the word that uh, was used for Varangians. And when we talked about Russians, we talked about uh, people, Slavs from the Kievan Rus, who were led by Varangians, so who would raid Byzantine territories. So, the, this first 100 years of the Russian Church history connected with, uh, the, uh, with, at, with attempts uh, of the Slavs to uh, penetrate into Byzantine territories to raid Constantinople, and that resulted in application of Byzantine grand strategy. And this Byzantine grand strategy was connected with diplomacy uh, and also using church to promote uh, Eastern Orthodox Christianity. So the Byzantines succeeded in uh, the conversion of uh, grandmother of Holy Prince Vladimir, St. Princess Olga around 956. And then uh, Holy Prince Vladimir, he uh, was a reformer of the Kievan Rus he wanted uh, to reform also religious cult and uh, once he helped uh, Emperor Basil II to suppress the revolt, he asked uh, to, uh, that Basil II's uh, uh, sister Anna would be married to him and a part of this uh, arrangement was that he would become a Christian. So he became a Christian around 1988 and it was done in Hersones nearby modern-day Sebastopol in Crimea. So Crimea is uh, actually an area uh, that is connected with uh, uh, a Roman Greek world and then the Byzantine world. And this is uh, kind of the most ancient area of the Russian Orthodox Church, right? And through this, uh, Russia, uh, Kiev and Rus became part of the Byzantine Commonwealth, which was like a cultural phenomenon. So, and uh, Russia became part of uh, uh, Byzantine Church, became a metropolitanate of the Byzantine Church, uh, one of the largest metropolitanate, and Byzantine culture, Byzantine le learning, uh, Byzantine uh, liturgical uh, uh, singing, and also uh, liturgical services, they became uh, part of the Russian Orthodox Church. At the same time, Russian Orthodox Church started to develop its own ethos, which is very clearly seen in Kiev case Patyrikon. That is uh, a document from the 12th century, which is very honest, very straightforward, and gives a lot of ideas about uh, initial Russian Church, about formation of the Russian piety. So we are now talking about the first uh, for a formative period of the history of Russian Church, which would be the key one. one. So this is uh, the first unit, and this is something to take home, to read, to focus, to understand that the first, basically, stage of Russian Christianity is, is uh, uh, the Christianity of the Kievan Rus. Thank you very much, and uh, all the best with your studies. Bye.